Hey guys, um, I'm just making this video, uh, basically as kind of like a little help for everyone. Because, you know, for me, back in 2010, I thought it was 2009 for a second because it was like right at the beginning of 2010, it's like February, um, I came out of the closet and basically, is my phone grabbing me? Sorry. Basically, after I came out, I thought that, you know, coming out was done, but you know, it's really not, and you kind of have to come out to everyone in your whole entire life. You have to be like, hey, by the way, you didn't know, but I like men. Hey, how about that? Like, well, that's not really how the conversations go, otherwise they'd be like, get away from me. But, um, yeah, it just kind of sucks, because I know there's some people that didn't even tell one person, and I know what it feels like to be there, and to, like, be in your room and be, like, sad, and, okay, I'm not gonna make myself sound really pathetic if no one can relate to me, but kind of cry. Just cry, because you feel like everyone else gets to be themselves, and, like, you don't, and you feel like there's no reason why it should be like that. You're like, but I feel like I'm just like everyone else, but I'm not all at the same time. Because when you're in the closet, you have no friends that are, like gay and you can't tell and it kind of feels like nobody else is and it's just it's a horrible time so i just want to tell you how i went about telling people in case anyone needs help with that i see you you need help with that i i'm like pulling some mr rogers shit i see you little children <laughs> but um okay i'm going to tell you how i went about doing it well it's different for everyone i mean for friends i was able to just flat out say to their face well actually Actually, I wasn't able to say, like, I'm gay to their face because I was afraid of those words. I don't know why. It's just hard to say that to someone. I went about it differently. I, like, brought my friend down into the basement. I was, like, because uh, we were upstairs before, and I was talking to her, and I was, like, yeah, um, well, there's something about me you guys don't know. And she's, like, yo. And a bunch of other people were like, you're making it sound like you're gay. And I was like, no, that's not it. And I found myself denying it, even though that was the truth. And it was what it was. But, you know, I didn't want them knowing. So then I went downstairs and I, with one of them. Because I couldn't tell it to all of them. I just couldn't handle that. And I went downstairs and I was like, you know what? What you said up there was true. Plus a lot of tears. <laughs> plus an hour of crying before that. Plus three hours of crying after that. Plus a bunch of fucking tears and excitedness and happiness the first thing that my friend did when i told her was she looked up at a picture of miley cyrus and she was like so you don't like that and i was like no hun, no no first off her music is just i don't even know first off she just went down the she at her no i'm kidding i actually really like miley cyrus does anyone else like her because uh well actually i kind of was just like iffy about her and then she got that tattoo on her ring finger but you know whatever okay everyone uh so i told her and this video is so not heartfelt right now, it was supposed to be. But you know, I'm just like, it's 2 in the morning and I'm drinking like coffee, so I'm kind of hyper. And, um, okay, yeah. And that's really how I told her friends are kind of more, you'll find out, like, if they're really your friend or not. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they just deal with it how they deal with it, then they're your friend. And that made no fucking sense. If they don't care, if they don't care, and they're like, Dude, I look at you the same way I did before. Like, what the fuck's the difference? Yo, let's go get some crack and... Never mind, no. That's not how it goes. But you know what I'm saying. Um, then... You know they're a true friend if they're like, Yo, get the fuck away from me. I don't know you anymore. Then you're like, fuck you. I don't like you. You're not, you were never my friend to begin with. So, um... Yeah. And, uh... Hey. So... Oh uh, yeah, I guess that's friends. Family's different. For my dad, I had to write a note to him. I had to write it down on a piece of paper and give it to him because I was too afraid to talk to him about it. Because, I don't know. It, it does like telling your friends that you like someone, I guess, kind of. Like, you can actually say it to your friends because they're your friends, right? And then if you want to say it to your parents, it's just a little bit more fucking awkward. A little bit as in, like, titanic amounts more awkward. So, I don't know. I guess that's why I just wrote it down on a piece of paper. I was like, I feel like if he just reads it, it's going to be so much easier for me. I won't have to say anything. I won't forget anything that I had to say. I don't know. It's debatable. It's up to you if you want to do it the way you want to do it. Unless you're just a straight ally watching. Then, hey, want some cookies? But, no. I don't know. Dude, I don't know what to talk about. I wish that this video was more heartfelt, but I did this video before on, like, an old channel, and it was, uh, 
really fucking long. It was like three parts, and I went into detail about how I told like everyone. I told my aunt, and I told my dad, and I told my sister, and I told my brother, and I told everyone. Really, it's kind of just like that part of my life is gone. Like, not gone. I mean, it's always there. It's always there, yo. But I mean, like, it's not as fresh in my mind as when I made the first video, because like it's been over a year. It's been like almost not almost two years what am i saying fuck my life what am i saying just kidding don't say that love your life life is precious but oh, that'd be, um what am i trying to say just give me a moment to seriously give me a moment to next out just give me a moment to think about it uh but whatever you way you decide to do it is the way you decide to do it and the way the speed you decide to come out is the speed you decide to come out it's like up to you you know what i'm saying like, some people won't come out until they are moved out of their parents' house, which is probably the smart idea for some people because their parents would take a machine gun and shoot them in the face. But, you know, those are psycho people that don't deserve the life they're given. But, I don't know. I feel like my position on things have changed, not because I'm sitting on my bed a different way, but, you know, my position over the past year, I don't know, everything a year ago was so... Dude, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I'll try and retry this video another time. If I'll talk about it like another time after like later on and I'll actually go into depth. This is just like a putting out there, just letting you know that there's people out there for you and just giving you a little like I love you, give me a kiss. I'm kidding. But um I don't know, yo I used to be so afraid and I know if you're afraid, that's how I felt. If you feel like there's nothing like, there's no way you're ever going to tell anyone. You're just watching these videos for entertainment. You're like, okay, because you're like, I wish it could come out, but I'll watch coming out videos. And you're like, even if it's the last thing you'd ever want to do, you'd rather die before it. And I know I've been there. I know I've been there. But you have to. Like, it's a part of you that's going to have to come out. It's like, you can't be like, hey, I married a woman, even though there's some people that do that. And if you do that, I'll be really mad. But there's some people that get married and they have kids and they're like, I'm sorry, I like men. It's like, what the fuck? Why'd you do that? But, yeah, don't do that. That's very bad of you. So, you love who you love. Do you got a problem with that? Because if you can do you've got to deal with me. And I have a taser. <laughs>